Hi folks, Dave Herbert here. You know, for quite a while I've been on the search for a really good battery charger for all of my batteries. And you know I built this rack uh, to uh, hook up all the chargers I need. And But I have to tell you, and I thought my Triton was probably the best that I have had in a long time, and it still is, I would say it's good. Except it doesn't have the capability to balance any of my lipos and uh, so that's the deal on that but I picked up a new charger today that was way cheaper than that Triton that really has impressed me this is fifty five dollars it's called a Thunder AC6 dual power balance charger discharger and I have to tell you this thing is hot I have been having a ball charging all my batteries uh, every kind of battery that you can think of I have been charging to make sure that this would all work so first of all the connectors that come with this thing you know, there's uh, standard connectors for just about everything. They all have Deans on there, alligator clips on this one. This is for actually charging your nice starter for gas engines, a single cell NICAD. And uh, this is for standards. Here you can connect your this whole charger up to a 12 volt car battery with this cable. And you can go in and set your temperature probes and completely program this charger by using this USB port connector. Here's how it works. The best thing I like about it, it has a wall cord. I can plug this thing into the wall. I don't have to have a 12 volt battery to carry around with me. And, uh, and it'll actually uh, run on one of these Black & Decker 110 volts also. This works really good. But uh, a few cool things about it. On the side here, is a standard connector plug and this connects to a temperature probe and this is very interesting I charge on top of a piece of ceramic uh, tile like this and all you have to do really is take and set the battery on top of this probe just like that and you have your temperature set in here all right here's how it works first of all there's only four buttons that you have to worry about and I'm gonna show you some of the specs but this will do up to six cell uh, on lipos, lions, and life batteries. It will do one to 15 cells on NICADs or nickel metal hydrides, and it will do lead acid batteries from two to 20 volts. It charges from 0.1 to five amp, and it just charges at 0.1 to minus one amp. Really uh, pretty good specs. I like the looks of it on this side we have the two output connectors. These are the 12 volt charge connectors. Now this is very interesting the way this works. It doesn't charge through the balancing circuit like some do. What this does is it comes with this connector which plugs in here and this will do uh, any of the one to six cell battery packs for the plug. Okay, when you first turn it on you've got a program select and lipo battery. There are four buttons that you have to worry about and that's all. The battery type and stop, a decrease, an increase, and a start enter button. That's it. So let's go ahead and try this. First of all you want to hit the start button and we're going to pick the type of battery and program I want to do. So I click push this and that tells me nickel metal hydride battery, NICAD battery, PB battery, that's lead acid, and I can save the data. So let's go ahead and load the LiPo battery, and I will press the start button. Now you have a choice of using the auto, okay, the LiPo charge, auto. We're going to do LiPo charge. If I wanted to change that to discharge, LiPo discharge, LiPo storage, this is for storing your batteries, the kind of charge you would put on it to store it. 
and a fast charge, which is an amazing circuit. I'm going to show you how that works. A balance. So let's go ahead and do the balance since I've got this connected up right now to the balance circuitry. It's easy. Okay, the battery is rated at 1300 milliamps, not 2200. So let's change that. Easy enough to do. You press the start button. And this is now blinking, 2200. I want to decrease that to 1300. So I just simply push this until it says 1300. Oops. And we want the voltage 14.8. That's wrong. This is 11.1. .1, so I want to click that, switch over here, then click decrease to 11.1. .1. Okay, we're ready to do it. Press start, enter. Now press it and hold that down like this and it is checking the battery. Now this is interesting. It is found, this is what I requested, the R stands for requested a 3S battery. And what it found was a 3S battery. And you want those cells always to be the same number for both sides and it's giving you a chance to look at that. If you see something wrong, don't enter it. So I press enter and now it begins charging. This is the uh, amount of amps that it's used charging at right now, the amount of voltage that it's seeing, the balance w is working here, and the number of milliamps in time. There's all kinds of safety stuff built into this. You just cannot hurt anything. This battery is a 14.8 volt LiPo at 2200 milliamps. I've got it plugged in. Let's say I want to charge it at 16. That's okay, but that's 1.6 amp. If but the voltage is wrong. Let's say I go ahead and try and start it. Here's what happens. Battery check. Okay, it says battery over voltage, so it knows right away it got something going on here that's wrong. So we have to stop that and set the right voltage. Okay. And, and since that is, uh, so we hit that, we hit that, and we change this to 14.8 volt. And I want to charge that at 2200. So let's go back to the 16, change that to 2.2 amp. And this is LiPo balance, not charge, LiPo balance. I have a choice to do fast charge too, which is amazing. And that's a whole other thing I'll have to show you but you would just hold this down and it's 4T confirmed. Okay, let's go ahead and change this. We're going to do a LiPo battery and we'll say enter and now auto discharge storage fast charge. We're going to do this at a fast charge. Okay. The amperage rating of this battery is 1.3. So I'm going to change that right there. Press the start button. And that's blinking. We want to change that to 1.3. Now we want to go to the voltage. That's correct. So now we're ready. LiPo fast charge, it says. I press and hold the button. Battery check. 3S requested, 3S and confirmation, all right, I press go. It is now fast charging. This is charging at a little higher amperage rate than normal, but still not exceeding uh, the total capacity of 1.3. It's quite a safety fa feature and this battery will charge up about 15 minutes faster using the fast charge rate. It won't be quite as topped off, nothing you will probably even notice, but in uh, electronic measurements it would be slightly uh, below ch uh, full charge. Okay, battery is charged and it tells you exactly how much it took, how long you ran it for, but, uh, that's the little warning. Also, if you're charging and you have a connection broken, battery, something unhex, connection break, 
a warning. So there's something wrong. You need to hook it back up. So that banana plug back in over there. And we're back in business again. That's a single cell lipo. Uh, you can set it up to say single cell lipo, but you can also set it for auto. And uh, in case you don't know, can't see the number of cells, you don't know, you go ahead and say auto. I'm going to charge this bit, little tiny battery at 0.4. That's 400 milliamps. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to hold this down on auto. And see, it's found that that is a single cell LiPo. And it is charging. There's the voltage right now. And this is going to charge up pretty quick, I'm sure. Okay, set the battery on the probe, temperature probe. Don't have to use this. I'm just doing it because I got it. <laughs> okay, now here's what we have to do. This battery is rated at 14.8 volt, 2200 milliamp. This will be the number of milliamps that it, it puts into the battery. You consider these batteries like little gas tanks. This is the gas pump. It's pumping in milliamps into your battery. If you have a 2200 capacity battery, that means it'll hold 2200 milliamps. So you have to put it in. You can only charge lipos at the rate of 1C, which means that you can only go no faster than the rated capacity. So what I'm doing now is putting in the voltage and we're having this charge. And it's a nice, good-looking unit, too. So I got this from nitroplanes.com. And for 55 bucks, I don't know what to tell you. It's, this is going to be my favorite charger. Already is.